Controversy on Long Island, an armed civilian militia proposed now by the Nassau County Executive. He says for use only during emergencies. Although every state bans private paramilitaries, County Executive Bruce Blakeman says these civilians will be sworn in. The very nature of these things are very much opposed by police and civil rights activists and advocates as well. Here's Long Island reporter Shante Lands. Their voices resonate. This cannot happen. This is open season to kill. Their demand is clear. I think it puts a lot of people at risk. Protesters rallying outside of the Nassau County Legislative Building want County Executive Bruce Blakeman to ditch his initiative to build a reserve of residents with a gun license to become provisional special deputy sheriffs in the event of an emergency. And God forbid, an overzealous George Zimmerman type of person right. chooses to think that that young man is a danger, that he puts him in fear. Unfortunately, what that would do, with that, in addition to a loss of life, that would cause our entire county and our nation to be set back in terms of race relations. Blakeman speaking out after the rally. They would not be going out on patrol. Blakeman says they would protect government buildings and hospitals to free up police officers to do other work. This concept isn't new. Counties across the nation have similar rules, but some here question the need with state police and the National Guard so close. The National Guard is a, uh, is a function of the state government. That, that would be under the purview of the governor. And as we've seen, obviously the governor said there's no crime problem in New York, yet we have National Guard in our subways. Bruce Blakeman says he's hoping to have 25 special deputies ready and trained by June. In Mineola, Shante Lands, Channel 7, Eyewitness News.